In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the nationalmap.gov website to download DEMs, and I'll pull them through a text URL link uh, through the UGET app onto the computer. So from Google, click on that top link, uh, DEM or T TNM download, and then that opens this page, and I'm interested in DEMs, so I'll click on one third arc second, that's good for this. Uh, we can go over to Hawaii, and we'll use, if you have the coordinates, you can enter those. If you have a center point, you can enter that. Uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle around the big island. So, boom. And then once I have this um, selected, I can click on Find Products, and then via their footprint, determine which tiles are appropriate. So now we'll go here, add these to cart. This is all I'm looking for. And then to get them, easy way to do it is uh, export the URLs to a text and then save that. And if you need, you can click on you get instructions and you'll need 7-zip to do this. And then there's a second link here. And if you have Windows, then you'll follow these instructions. So you're on the UGET website. Here's the supported platforms. If you have Windows, click on that. Then scroll down and you'll find this. And you'll want to click that. And then it opens this page. And your download begins. And then when you open it, it might tell you that it's unsure of how to open that because it needs to be open in 7-zip. So once you find that, right-click on it, take it to 7-zip, open the archive. And I think it's easiest just to do this number. So once you have that complete, you can find the file. And in this case, we'd go up. bin and then you get and it opens this application and then if you're opening multiple DEMs at once easy way to do that is batch downloads text file import and then find the um, file that you saved earlier hit OK and it'll add the different tiles here and they begin downloading you can identify where they are a couple different ways, and there's multiple ways to do this. You can identify where they are by clicking on this, and it'll tell you um, the name of it and the folder that it's in. So, And you can open them in whatever GIS program or whatever mapping program that you're using. So I hope this is helpful. Take care.